Hey guys, Liza here with another nail polish swatching video. I just finished um, editing my first video and it's currently exporting. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna get a little bit better with the format of this. I did realize during the last one that I kept saying the nail polish names over and over and over again. Um, especially when I spliced them together, I would say it back to back. So I'm gonna try and be a little better about that this time between the first and second coats. So let's get started. Today we're gonna to do Sinful Colors um, and then I also have two random Claire's Cosmetics uh, nail polishes that we're gonna do. So the first one we're gonna get started with is a Sinful Colors color, uh, color, <laughs> nail polish called Crushed Velvet. And this was with the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Trend Matters collection. Um, I picked this one up, I believe, at like Dollar Tree or something. Most of the nail polishes uh, that I buy, I buy on clearance. So they are um, generally like older collections. Um, I just find whatever I like and I don't like spending a whole bunch of money on nail polish. So um, you're gonna see a lot of older collections, um, but I don't, particularly care about that kind of stuff. Uh, so this uh, collection though does dry down to like a sort of matte finish. Um, so this one is kind of like a, mm, maybe kind of a, not quite a raspberry color. It's kind of hard to describe it. It's sort of like a muted raspberry um, with a gold shimmer. It is glossy right now, but that will dry down matte. You'll see in the second coat. So that is my first color. All right, now we're going in for the second coat. Um, you can see here, this one isn't completely dry, but you do see that it dried down um, a little duller. It's not quite as glossy anymore. I would consider these kind of like a demi matte polish. Um, they're not really a chalkboard matte, and this one's definitely not as matte as um, the purple one that I'll show you later. Uh, but it doesn't dry down like your normal glossy nail polish would. Is that second coat. The second one is the other yellow um, color that I mentioned. I only had one other in my collection. This is it. It is called Pull Over and it is a basic yellow cream polish. It does lean kind of slightly like an orangey yellow. Um, let's see here. Again, this is not a color that I wear very often. Um, yellow in general, not, not specifically this one. Uh, but I do like having a lot of different options, especially for like nail art and that kind of stuff. Um, so I did pick up this one. This was one of the first sinful colors I picked up. And there go my dogs. All right, we're gonna stop for a second. All right, so I think my dogs have calmed down enough now. Um, but this again was that yellow color. It's a basic cream. So that's our first coat there. Up next is a green color. This one is called Happy Ending. And it's kind of, um, not quite like a Kelly green, but it's not a lime green either. Um, there, there they go again. They're kind of freaked out this afternoon. Uh, it does have a shimmer running through it that is a lighter color. Um, let's see what, that's probably, it's kind of like a greeny gold shimmer that's running through that. So this one is, uh, more sheer than the last two that I've put on. We'll see how that builds up in the second coat when we come back through. So that is happy ending. Zoe. <laughs> Do you have an itch? Sorry, she's making a budget noise back here. This one is more sheer. I probably would go in for three coats to make that one fully opaque. Up next, this is called Pine Away. 
And this is kind of like a Christmassy green. Um, it's very sparkly. It has a silver glitter, uh, or maybe maybe more like a micro shimmer, kind of running through that. Um, definitely a Christmas a Christmassy color in my opinion. So we're gonna just oops swatch that on here. You will see as I go through my collection, I'm a big fan of sparkly colors. I don't have a whole bunch of creams, um, just because that's not really my cup of tea. Uh, I, I do like unique colors and sparkly colors, and so that's what you're going to see a lot of in my collection. So there's that one. This was Pine Away. This is definitely my cup of tea when it comes to nail polishes. Uh, you see all the shimmer in that one. It's a beautiful like emerald color. Um, definitely very Christmassy, uh, but, but really just a gorgeous color in general. Up next, this is called Green Ocean. It is like a green sheer base um, with a lot of iridescent uh, flakies in here that are kind of like a blue green shift. Um, this one is really meant to be like a top coat. Um, I have seen people use this, I think over like blue before, uh, which is really beautiful. So I'm, I picked this one up thinking it looked pretty mermaidy. Um, so you see when I swatch it on here, those, sh those, uh, flakies kind of look like pink, um, in that green base. But then when you put it over black, it's going to change entirely. So I'm going to Put this coat on here and then I'm not sure we're gonna try this out and see how um, if I can show you see how that blue picks up once it's over a dark base see it looks kind of pinky there and then when you put it over a dark base that blue picks up hopefully that's showing on camera I probably wouldn't do a second coat of this normally on my own nails, uh, but just for consistency sake, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. That is gonna add a few more flakies. Uh, let that iridescent topper show a little bit more. So there's that one. And that's how it looks over a dark base. Up next, this one is called Ice Dream. Again, another glittery top coat. Um, and so this one is a clear base with a lot of silver and then like a kind of icy blue um, glitter running through that. This is again, uh, I, I don't think this one's really intended to be a color on its own. It's just intended to be a top coat, um, but it does have a great glitter payoff there. So you can see um, with one really quick, easy coat on there, I am picking up a ton of glitter. So there's that one. And let's see if I can also show that over black as well. See that there? So you can pick up the silver glitter a little bit better once you see it over black against, instead of against the white background that I have there. And again, I, I mentioned in the first coat on this one that it's very... Uh, it has a really good glitter payoff, so I probably wouldn't go in with the second one, but if you wanted to, if you wanted even more sparkle, uh, you could go in with a second coat. That does distribute the blue particles a little bit better this time around. So there's that one. And that's what that looks like over a dark base, so you can see those silver glitters a little bit better. Up next, we have another one from the Kylie uh, Trend Matters collection. This one is called Magic Touch, and that's magic with a K. Um, I did just take this one off of my nails. It's a beautiful, like really light, um, kind of like periwinkle color. It looks 
in my eyes, kind of lavender, although I noticed when I put it up next to some really pale um, blue items in real life uh, that it did, did look like it matched the exact same color. So it looks purple in the bottle, and when I'm not comparing it next to something, it looks purple to me. Um, and then when I get it out in daylight up against blue things, it looks like it matches that too. So, but it does have a blue shimmer running through it. I do have a <laughs> hair in that swatch, I apologize. Um, and so this shows up glossy now, but it will dry down matte. It's a really beautiful finish. I'm not usually a matte nail polish person, but these don't really dry down to like a chalkboardy matte. They're a really beautiful kind of color. It's hard to describe really. Again, you can see here um, on this side over here where that dries down to like a matte finish, demi matte finish there. So that's, that's what it looks like when it's dried. I will say that the shimmer in this one is um, pretty difficult to see once it's dry, just from having worn it this past week, but it is a beautiful color. I actually paired this one with a um, hollow top coat on my ring finger when I wore this this past week. So all of them were matte except for that one that was glossy and had a uh, I had China Glaze fairy dust over it, so really tiny hollow glitters on top of it. This next one is called Let's Talk, and this is a beautiful, like, uh, it has a, a high shine to it. Um, I guess I might call it shimmery, maybe a little metallic would be a better way to describe this, but this is like a blurple. Um, so it's a very blue toned purple, which is my favorite color. Um, I don't, I'm not really a fan of red toned purples, uh, but I love blue toned purples. Those are my jam. <laughs> so I'm always looking for a beautiful um, blue toned purple nail polish, which is why I gravitated towards this bottle. <laughs> Alrighty, so there is that one. And again, this one was called Let's Talk. So there's that beautiful royal blurple <laughs> kind of color. And then we're gonna do two kind of random Claire's Cosmetics colors. Um, I do believe that these dried down matte. We'll ha have to see um, once a little bit of time passes, but this one is called Marine Blue. And this is um, definitely like a Definitely green, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, doesn't pull very blue at all. Um, I don't really know how to describe it because my, my first thought is to, to say turquoise, but this is not turquoise either. It's definitely some sort of like aqua-y green color. So there's that one. Again, that was from Claire's Cosmetics and it's called Marine Blue. So you can see here um, that marine blue dried down matte um, and it looks like the other one is attempting to dry down matte as well. This one's a lot streakier. Th these are I'm probably going to get rid of. Um, I don't have a lot of sentiment uh, or sentimentality about these. They, they are a little bit streaky. Not my favorite uh, polishes to work with. But I figured I'd at least pick up um, so I'm gonna give them a shot since I'd never tried the brand before. Zoe, stop licking. Leave it alone, grumpy. <laughs> so there is that marine blue. 
And for my last one, we're gonna do, this one is called Rocket Blue. It's another one of the Claire's Cosmetics colors. And this is a deep royal blue uh, with a lot of sh uh, a sheen to it. I'd probably consider this one like a metallic kind of finish to it. So that was the first coat of Rocket Blue. So you can build these up to look pretty good, but the, the formula is just not great. You can see um, it's kind of streaky there. I think it actually might look a little better on camera. I can't quite tell from here, um, but it's just not the best formula to work with. So I'm probably gonna de-stash those and give those away. So one quick shot. These are all the polishes that we swatched today. The ones over here are my Sinful Colors, and then these two on the end were my Claire's Nail Polishes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.